Hi again, welcome back to Dirty Bernie's Garage. Uh, today we're gonna get go ahead and go on uh, part two of the Will It Run <laughs> heater episode here. Um, I'm sorry I haven't got this done sooner. Just some other stuff came up and whatnot. But anyway, we're gonna go ahead and um, <clears throat> try and get this thing done. Now, if you've watched the last episode, you're gonna see that I uh, went ahead and pulled the wick out of it. Uh, the wick wasn't positioned properly. I believe that's what was causing the, the problems with this heater. Um, what I'm going to do, uh, where Ginger supplied another brand new uh, wick with this heater, we're gonna go ahead and use that one. Um, the other wick was actually brand new, but I felt where it wasn't positioned properly and whatnot. I say, you know, it was already soaked with kerosene and everything. I'm gonna go ahead and try with the brand new one. And I did take that out of the wick and I have it placed in a baggie. I may end up using that for the old heater. I don't know yet. Either way, but it's not gonna go to waste either way. But anyway, we're gonna go ahead and uh, we'll give it a shot and see if we can't get this thing all fired off today. So, we're gonna start you off over here. We got a uh, few elements for this thing. <clears throat> this is your main, I, I, I'm not gonna lie to you, I don't know the names for all these things. This is like your main control thing that's gonna lift up the wick and everything. You got this little jobber here that actually slides in as such. And then on the bottom, you got this little, I'm going to call it a bowl thing. Um, you're going to see we got some, a couple slots there. There's actually a couple nubs on this thing, which that slides into. And you slide it down, lock it in as such. So, what we got to do first, now you're going to, this uh, let me find it. Make sure I get it the right way. This little thing's got a... Uh, where'd it go? Uh, right there. Um, this, this is going to go... It wants to go up. So... I'm sure it's kind of hard to see. You got three notches in here that have to line up. And this piece also has the three notches and that is for the actual wick itself actually has these little pins in it. They're gonna line up with that. And what those notches do <coughs> is when you um, raise or lower the wick, that's what the, they have sliding these holes and that's what it's going to give you your uh, <laughs> raise and lower effect. All right, so let's go ahead and try this. Um, as I had mentioned, the sleeve has to slide in a certain way. It's got an arrow pointing up and everything. But what it also has, it's got a bunch of uh, cutouts. And they're really, uh, the sharp, kind of like sharp tack things. They're going to be holding the actual wick in place. <laughs> Some of these uh, videos I watch is like, oh, you got to wear gloves because, you know, you could stab your hands. Well, my hands are like leather, so it's that that really doesn't apply to me. But anyway, all right, so this thing's going to slide up. It's going to go in as such. And now we have to actually line it up with the holes for the adjuster which might take a few minutes here but we'll get it there we go all right we got one in place so now the key to this thing is is you got to uh yeah slide the little tabs through that sleeve 
Hmm, okay, well, I guess my, uh, <laughs> I guess the igniter actually does work on this heater. I just saw it lit up for a second there, so we're gonna have to be careful on that. Actually, maybe I'll do the right thing and just disconnect the batteries. That way, it, we don't have to worry about that anymore. Hmm. Huh. All right, we had a couple of, uh, what do they see, I think? We'll put them over there. I had already, uh, I had already went and bought a, um, like I think I said in the last episode, I bought a barbecue lighter. That way we could go ahead and do this. I, I, I've never been one to trust igniters, but we're going to make an attempt. Whether or not this will work is a different story. Alrighty. Right around there. So it says in the instructions what you want to do is, uh, you're gonna go ahead and line this sleeve up with the hole on a thing. And then kind of, you're gonna kind of push your uh, wick into place with those little tabs. So this, this could take me a minute here. All right. Jeez. Yeah, I could see why. I can actually see why people get a little bit discouraged doing these because it's it's not easy by any means. All right, so there we got one. Hey, there we go. We got one in place. So you're going to go ahead and kind of, uh, you're going to spread this wick out a little bit. Let's see if we can't get a uh, number two lined up. Imagine that, huh? Well, yeah, part of it. Come on. Hey, there we go. All right. Think we can get lucky enough to go for three? Probably not, but. Well, there it is. All righty. All right, so we got. Uh, I believe I got this part right. Okay. I mean, we're not gonna bet money on this or anything. I'm not really a gambling man until it comes like huge casino and everything. That, that's another story. That's just fake money though. So it's not, not a big, big deal. All right. But I believe I do have this wick in place where it belongs. Give her a double check, you know, we wanna make sure that we're good. <coughs> All right. All right, so we got that part done. Go ahead and scrunch this up a little bit. I gotta go ahead and put this other uh, piece here on here. And as I said, I'm going to go ahead and line that up with the little notch things here. All right. Now, <clears throat> so another big step to this thing, which I, ha I have a feeling that a lot of people are missing. Um, 
before now this this piece here has the same um the little tab sticking out which is wick is going to stick to now but the problem here is that you want um according to the manufacturer and all the videos i watch what you want to do before you stick that to that you want to raise the wick up all the way now this um this this has a function basically when you tip this heater over and jar it too hard or whatever it's going to snap the wick right down because it's a safety feature it's going to shut the heater off so what we're going to do here i have to raise this wick up all the way but yet i have to actually hold it in place um, I believe what goes on is the wick's going to come through, but yet when you drop the wick down all the way, it, it stays balled up a little bit in this little bowl piece, and that's where your, your uh, kerosene's going to actually soak up the most, you know, just for easier starting purposes and for running purposes and everything. <laughs> so what we're going to do here... I have to, basically, what I have to do is I got to bypass this, um, this little setup. So I'm going to go ahead and crank it up all the way. Like such. But I have to actually jam this thing open so that it'll stay. Say, now you, you're going to notice we got the wick up all the way. It's looking good. Um, I went ahead and jammed a socket in here, so there's no way that this thing now can go ahead and go down. So I'm going to tip her over as such. And now we have to go ahead with this wick and we got to stick it onto these other pieces here. That's going to actually hold this wick where it belongs. So that way part of it's gonna go ahead and dip down into the kerosene. And that's exactly where the problem lies because these things don't wanna grab this. <clears throat> All right, so they're probably gonna end up grabbing it as the, um, I, I'm guessing they're going to grab this wick as, you know, that big round cylinder thing on a heater is what's going to go ahead and hold this wick. But you notice we got the, <clears throat> before, when I took this heater apart, the wick was jammed up into the, the bowl here and it's not supposed to be like that. It's supposed to be sticking down as such in order you know, for the, the wick to soak up the kerosene. And, you know, for it to do it, it's, its job. So, we'll go ahead and we're going to leave that thing wide open as such. <clears throat> and we're going to try and actually slide it onto this heater. So, this, this could be a good show. So, we'll go ahead and tip you over this way. Let's see if we can't do this. She's actually, seems like it's starting to slide on pretty good, Dad. We'll make sure all, yeah, I think we got her. All right, um, I'm going to have to go ahead. All right. 
I think that we just got it. I really do. All right, you're gonna notice we, uh, the wick's all the way up. It slid down into the holder, no problem whatsoever. Got all my uh, pins lined up. All right. I think I got it. So give me a minute here and we'll go ahead and um, next thing you know, we're gonna go ahead and put the cedar back together. All right, well I was having some issues here. Um, the wick was coming up, but it didn't want to go back down, you know, the emergency shut off. So I guess it was just a matter of actually working it a few times. I think I got it right where it's got to go now. So I think it's time to go ahead and put this thing back together. And uh, um, it said something to, uh, to the effect of you want to let it sit, you know, 15, 20 minutes, blah, 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 to suck the, you know, suck the kerosene up the wick and everything. So I'm gonna go ahead and give it an hour. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I'm gonna zap this thing back together real quick and then we're gonna bring it out in the driveway after and we're gonna see what happens. And uh, so stay tuned and we'll uh, show you the end results here shortly. All right, here we go. We're gonna try this thing out. I figure I'm gonna do it outside. Um, you know, I'm pretty sure I got it right, but for safety sake, we're just going to do it this way. We're going to go ahead and do the regular uh, light with a light there, too. I don't, I'm not going to play with that stupid ignition thing right now. So far, so good anyway. The uh, lit wick all the way around. Uh, yeah. Wick lit all the way around. We'll check back in a minute when it's uh, lit up all the way. Yeah, it's a little breezy out here, so we got it. But uh, that looks to be a pretty good flame anyway. And it is going all the way around it, so I'm going to let it run for a little bit like that. Uh, so all in all, this thing seems to be running pretty good. Um, we're still going to let it run out here in the driveway for a little bit, but next we'll, uh, we'll see it in the garage and hopefully heat things up a little bit. And... Um, uh, thank you for watching this video and I'm coming up soon we're going to be start doing some lights in there too so you stay tuned for that have a wonderful night